So I was hanging out with Audrey and Brian Blanchard the other day, and we were trying to identify different animal species given a picture. Uh, the AI for Earth API had come up in our conversation. It's the one you may have seen used for camera traps. So as a lifelong photographer, somebody who takes a lot of pictures, I had gone to Costa Rica for a travel abroad program, and I took a lot of pictures of different animals. What if I had a tool at the time to identify what kind of animal did I just take a picture of? That'd be great. In this video and set of videos, I'm going to be showing you some of the ways that I use the AI for Earth API to create such a tool. So I created my solution as a flow button because I don't need a full app to be built out. I don't need a full UI. Let's take a look. I open up flow after taking a picture, click my flow button. This brings me the option to select an image from my photo library, click my picture of an iguana, and it does the thinking, goes through the flow steps, and it gives me a notification. I can click into it, and it provides me a link to some search results on the web, and from there, I can view additional pictures to confirm. Let's take a look at the overall flow. I click a button. It uses a key to the AI for Earth API. I get the content that I want using post. From that, it sends me two tables. I only want one of those tables, so parse JSON reduces it to that table. And then even from that table, I don't need all of the columns. I only need two. Select lets me uh, pare down the number of columns that I want. And then I send myself a mobile notification. Although in this video series, I am using the AI for Earth API, the same patterns and practices will let you connect to uh, whatever external connectors that you've always wanted to play with inside Power Apps and Flow. If you'd like to continue seeing this video series about external connectors, please subscribe.